Well, very shortly, it's going to be the 150th running of the race that stops the nation, the Melbourne Cup. And we thought, hmm, how can we get to know what horses we should back? Well, we've got the best person indeed, Max Hitchens. Mm -hmm. He is the author of these sorts of books. This is uh, Facts, Fiction and Fables of the Melbourne Cup. My grandpa uh, would have loved that book. Oh, they're great books, but the most important one is how to pick the winner of the 2010 Emirates Melbourne Cup. Max Hitchens, welcome. Susie, welcome. Bianca, so thank you. how do we pick the winner? <laughs> it's the $64 million question. You've given me too much credibility in the uh, in your intro, by the way. You said I picked the winner of the, uh, the, the 22 Melbourne Cup. I haven't done that. No, no. Uh, my, I have a format where each year I break the field down from uh, uh, 24 horses down to six horses, and I say one of these six horses uh, will, I believe, will win the cup. I've been right 20 years out of 22. Muzzle tov. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should have a look at your tips, uh, if yes. we may. And uh, we've actually tips. got a little, uh, little list of them here. Uh, yep. These are yours in order. Now, you're predicting... First, second, third, and then fourth, fifth. Well, like, well, it could be the sixth, yeah? I, I'm happy if I get the one in the six wins the cup. That's sure. a win for win for me. And the six are Shocking, Ameri Americane, Desperado, Harris Tweed, Holberg, and uh, My Lucky Day. My Lucky Day. Uh, and when people always say, yeah, but what are you, what's your first, second, and third? Yeah. Well, I'd throw that in as Americane, Shocking, and Harris Tweed. Um, Why they're... Mary Kane? What's the because I've heard a few people have told me Mary Kane. What's what's Mary the story Kane is there? a French horse uh, yep. trained but trained by an outstanding uh, French trainer. He tra trained horses for the Aga Khan for thirty years. Uh, he has won, ran, and uh, and won over the thirty two hundred metres, run uh, even longer distances. He's uh, he's run over. Can run in the uh, ground if it's a little bit wet. Uh, uh, an excellent jockey ran in the Geelong Cup and uh, did a fantastic job in the uh, the Geelong. Long cup. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know what, I want to quickly test you because apparently you have memorised every single Melbourne Cup winner that came first, second and third from 1960 to last year. No, no, for the last 100 years. Only oh, for the last right? 100 years. Oh, yeah. OK, yeah. right. Sorry, OK, so I've got here so 1960. Yeah, but if you turn over there, there's all of the Oh, years. my gosh. Oh. Whatever year you want to do for 100 oh, years. Oh, Max, you are unbelievable. OK, well, well, my apologies. Right yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. Uh, 1973, the year I was born. Uh, um... Uh, 1973 was won by Gala Supreme. That's uh, right. Gala Supreme was first, Glenn Gowan was second, yes. and Dane Sun was third. Yes. That was the year after the uh, the 1972 Olympics, where Shane Gould uh, uh, Shane Gould won five uh, medals at the 72 Olympics. So. You've got a photographic memory. <laughs> Incredible, Max. Thank you Let's so much. Let's put up your website because if it's called PickTheCupWinner.com.au, and uh, Max, thank you so much. Susie Bieker, thank you for having me on. It's been no <laughs> I've <worries>. had a ball. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Melbourne Cup Day.